So when we first load this page, the Google ad is showing. But if I come back to this page through a link, the ad disappears. I'll try that again. The Google ad is showing here, but when I come back to this page through a link, the Google ad is gone. If I back up, you can see the ad is there. If I go forward, the same page, the ad is gone. The reason this is happening is because when you follow a link to this page, the page is loaded through Ajax. jQuery Mobile uses Ajax to load the pages. And so there's something in this showads.js file from Google that is causing the, the ad not to show when used with Ajax. I have actually heard of people saving this file down to their server, making a change to it, and then it will work and the ad will display. The only solution at this time is to add rel equals external to every link that links to a page with Google Ads. Adding rel ex equals external to a link will make it so that the Google Ads will work on the page being linked to, in this case, the home page. The home page has Google Ads on it and um, they will display as long as we have rel equals external. Now when I come to this page through a link, the ad will display because of the rel equals external. The problem with rel equals external is that it disables Ajax. Ajax is very beneficial for a mobile website. It allows you to have smooth page transitions between the pages, which makes it feel like an app, like an app for your phone. Also, um, Ajax allows this entire head section here, all of the, that means all of the CSS and JS include files. It allows it th those files to only be included once when the website is first loaded on the first page load. And then Ajax is able to uh, cache these files so that they don't have to be reloaded on every page. But when you use rel equals external, that can't happen. And so these pages have to be reloaded on every single page. That makes the pages slower and uses more bandwidth. So it's very unfortunate to have to use rel equals external just to get the Google Ads to work. It really impacts the usability of the website significantly. Using rel equals external and therefore disabling Ajax pretty much defeats the whole purpose of jQuery Mobile, which uses Ajax to provide a really nice user experience. So I've made this video in order to show you the problems with jQuery Mobile and Google AdSense. I am hoping that Google AdSense or jQuery Mobile will come up with a solution for this so that I can use Google Ads on my jQuery mobile site without disabling Ajax. That would be awesome. Because then I would not have to sacrifice usability in order to get the Google Ads to work. Thanks for watching.